Hello YouTube, my name's Kugel, and today we'll be talking about this guy, Gustav Fechner. And Gustav Fechner is a psychophysicist from Germany, and he basically liked to do things such as uh, sensation perception, or the way you can see, perceive, kind of have a viewpoint on the world around you. Basically like how you interact with the world around you, how your senses interact with it, your taste, your touch, your smell. Like smelling grandma's cookies when she's cooking or uh, seeing your boyfriend or girlfriend for the first time that day. Uh, or basically like a perception of your uh, surroundings, the behavior that you react in them. Now Gustav was an interesting kid. He was born and raised in a small town in Lusantia which is now Germany and growing up he began his life helping out his father and grandfather in a German Lutheran ministry and eventually got really really bored of that. He graduated from what Americans would think would be like a high school around the age of 12 and he would go on to medical university where he really started like to see himself kind of feel a little bit out of the norm. He did, however, graduate with a PhD after leaving the medical school in Drenchen for the left it for Leipzig. While at Leipzig, he decided that it was a good idea to start teaching under the physics and chemistry portions of the school. So he became the professor and initially got his chair. And After this, he started to become uh, more interested in the Kind of like the mechanisms of how everyone thinks and feels. Then early 1800s, I want to say it's like 1834. Anyway, Gustav later tried a bunch of experiments, especially ones that were involved with uh, sensation. He is very much noted for looking at the sun once to see like if he could get a different sort of sense out of visual stimuli and blinded himself. Now, some people will say it's an illness, other people will say that like he got cataracts. Basic main point is that he blinded himself while looking through rose-colored glasses at the big fiery ball in the sky. Gustav would then immediately realize that his blindness or his illness, his condition, created some sort of unnecessary focal points that he really didn't want in his life. He began to seep into a deep depression because of it. He would start to um, ponder like his own life and sometimes would even ponder over suicide. What happened next to Gustav was actually pretty impressive. His friends actually started to get to talk to him and he decided that instead of being this hypocritical kind of person where he didn't really believe in the church, he was going to start believing in something and he thought that the mind and body were together. And pietism, which basically is like a German or a Lutheran uh, kind of way of like thinking that like you need to be a uh, pietist or you need to kind of like abstain and be like gracious and thankful to God and be uh, very well connected to uh, the spirituality of the Christian movement. After the cataracts had subsided and they kind of went away, uh, Gustav Fechner began his most famous work, which was Fechner's Law. And Fechner's Law is seen by this equation here plus this like a little graph up here which basically is saying that that stimulus is reached when the constant is multiplied by the logarithm of the magnitude of said stimulus. Basic in terms um, the absolute threshold increases the more stimulus is presented or in I guess layman's terms the more you see something, the more likely you're going to realize that you're seeing it. Like a fly, think of it like a pot fly ball. Ball's in the air and it's coming down. You see it while it's up there and as it increases and gets bigger and bigger and bigger, you start to realize what's happening. Same could be said for weights. When one weight's heavier than the other, you can kind of tell. But if you have both weights together and we add a small amount, there's not that much difference. Thus, thus he and Weber came up with the just noticeable difference. So why is this all important? Well, basically anything that like, you do, like the uh, senses that you get when you smell, when you feel, when you see and hear, a lot of these are thankful to 
Gustav Fechner's research of how we know that we can and everything like into one big group. A main point also is that Gustav Fechner is also known as the father of experimental psychology. So for all you other psychologists out there, um, all those experiments that you try, all those experiments that your teachers will have you like read and like review and everything like that, those are actually kind of thankful to this guy. Wilhelm Wundt wouldn't have even began his own experiments had it not been for Fechner trying out his or Ebbinghaus trying out his. Um, big uh, experiments began and came from uh, Gustav Fechner who did like the first experiments trying to see how much can people hear, can they tell a difference between um, a violin that's playing an E, uh, an E string versus a A string. Can they tell the difference of how loud or how quiet we're making it, how bright or how dim are we making it? And Gustav just tried his like hardest to uh, impact or impact from the world as we know it today, and how we can uh, kind of like see and sense and feel about um, certain things. Uh, another point that was really heavy with influence was uh, Sigmund Freud. Sig uh, Sigmund Freud actually took um, what Fechner was writing down during his depression and used it in his uh, applied sciences or his psychoanalytics, basically stating that um, while he was depressed and had like all like these depressions, he was also trying to then focus with the pietism and how um, people want to have pleasurable feelings and pleasurable experiences. They don't want to have this uh, kind of depressive, always in the groggy mood type of feeling. Um, Fechner uh, did a lot and I guess that's why um, anymore, especially in big uh, psychological communities, um, there's this thing called Fechner's Day. And Fechner's Day, I'm guessing because it, I haven't really heard much about it or seen it in the States very much, but Fechner's Day basically is like this day where people give thanks to uh, William Fechner for being uh, the first like pioneer. It'd be like us thinking like um, <laughs> well Bill Hickok for going out into Rapid City and the Sturgis Rally, the people who started up the Sturgis Rally or um, basic pioneers searching out west for gold, um, the 49ers out in San Francisco and around the mountains and Rockies and stuff like that. Like, um, what Gustav Fechner did for psychology was basically open up doors for um, new and improved, new and improved principles. So yeah, that was uh, Gustav Fechner. Um, you guys like this video? Please give it a like. Comment down below. I like to like have a discussion with people. I don't like to just sit around and not <laughs> do much of anything. So. If you like this video, please give it a like, please give it a comment, um, and we'll see you guys next time. Deuces!